The Philippines. Section 1 had been already pre-staged to provide support. An official not to be named in the Philippine Armed Forces had reviewed the information and had approved the DIA assassination mission. The general and his new major flew tourist class over Leyte Gulf towards Manila, getting to know one another deeper. Um, General, since we never wear insignia, would it be too forward of me to inquire how many invisible stars you have on? No sweat for one must know the total situation. Seven stars. Well, if we consider that the president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, then this seems to give him the equivalence of six stars. So, are you somehow higher than him, but wouldn't you still have to report to the Pentagon and or the president? Glad you asked, Major. The Pentagon reports to me in a sense, although they don't know it, for I receive their defense intelligence directly. As for the president, while he gave me the initial authorization, he does not wish to be informed, except in certain rare cases. Thus, in a way, I am indeed above the president. This is all so that there are no paper trails, emails, desks, phone messages. His phone line can be ultra-secured when it needs to be, but he really does rather more enjoy reading about some of the events in the newspaper. As for us, there are no medals, commendations, or any kind of mention whatsoever in any way. It's amazing that a part of the military has gone paperless. We still have some in the bathrooms. Huh. Suppose, um, you happen to overdo some questionable assignments in some persistent fashion. Assassins might eventually hunt me down. Might? If they could find me. Um, General, I wouldn't have to call you General if I knew your name. Well, we don't use real names here, and I don't even know your full name either. This prevents any torturers who may get a hold of us from learning anything about that. Do you have a stage name? Yes, I was going to say that you could call me Magic Dragon. I will call you Quester. These are code names that are just between us. The President must have a lot of trust in you. If I have earned it, then he has it. Do we ever take out heads of state? No, but the CIA can now do that. Does the CIA have a seven-star general? No, for they are somewhat more accountable. And they focus more on espionage and politics? Indeed, while we focus on military defense. There is some overlap, however. The plane was landing. I'll see you on the other end, Dragon. Hope so, Quester. You do know that there are sometimes hidden variables that can arise in these far and foreign missions? Yes, for this is not so straightforward as crossing the border into Cambodia from Vietnam. True. And while the Philippines is a friendly ally with US, it's not like they can all be in the know, excepting for my contact there. The Major bid farewell to General Magic Dragon and switched to another plane that would take him far to the south, then a ferry to Mindanao, a region of over 7,000 islands. After hiking for a few miles in the dark, the Major located a box containing a sniper rifle just where it was supposed to be and loaded it. Halfway up a hill, he had a decent view of the Philippine Army outpost. He settled in and waited for the glow of tropical dawn. At the hint of twilight dawn, the Major, or Quester as we may call him, spotted his target's office at having the man's rank on it, of all the stupid things to do. It was time, for the target was coming out for his morning stroll alone, another silly move. The shots rang clear and true, and the man was no more. As one might imagine, some troops came running out, heading for the fallen man. He then disassembled the rifle and packed it, and headed off very slowly but with much stealth toward the path road blocked by many obstacles. A few minutes later, he was surprised to receive a call. This is Magic Dragon. There is a problem. The Muslims are unexpectedly on the move and the Philippine army has made a wild guess hitting the nail on the head and is now heading right for your road. There will soon be eyes everywhere, even above, so your ground pickup plan has been aborted. Yes, I am. Good, for they are not quite on to you exactly yet, for you are just the receiver of this call. They can try to trace us, but not you. However, they will never find us. That's the extent of the plan. Run like hell. Ready, get set, go. 
Quester was off and did about two miles in about ten minutes, then slowed and stopped for a look about the ridge. To the north, a tank from the army outpost was clearing the obstacles from the beginning of the path road. To the south could be seen some Muslim helicopters warming up. He noted swamps everywhere, a bit inland on both sides of the path. They would be infested with dengue fever. Wherefore is the vaporous lady, who rains good fortune upon me? Her portal to the net must yet be broken. Probability has regained its memory and spoken, and yet a spirit in my feet still leads me, who knows how, to her chamber window, sweet, or tis closed or run out now, the vap. Wherefore is the vaporous lady who rains good fortune upon me, and yet a spirit in my feet still leads me, who knows how, the vaporous airs, they faint on the dawn, the silent stream, the nightingale's complaint, it dies upon her breast, oh lift me from the grass, I die, I faint, I fail, my cheek is cold and white, alas my heart beats loud and fast. Was Magic Dragon just going to leave me here? whether intentionally or because now he had to. Besides, the Filipino troops were fine, and the successor to the dead general was a very good man. So you must not be frightened if a sadness rises up before you larger than any you have ever seen. You must think that something is happening with you, that life has not forgotten you, that it holds you in its hand. It's all turning to shit. I'm going to be surrounded soon. I know when all is lost. It's okay. That's the breaks. Indeed, they have you surrounded, but only in two dimensions. Get off the trail slightly. You have about five minutes to dig a hole. The mud is soft. What a surprise, Magic. Why didn't you tell me? Because we've never tried it before. Ha! Ah, good one. I do believe in magic now, and so I do fully trust you, Dragon General Magician. Shit happens, Quester. Or almost did. Nothing is for sure in this business. General Jackson Magic Johnson, or whatever your name might be, you remember my record two-mile running part? It was not entirely that much fun.